Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture on the Laplace transformation. Today we will discuss about what is the convolution theorem and its various examples. Myself, Dr. Gar. So this lecture is the part of the continuation of the previous one which is related to the Laplace transformation example shifting theorems and inverse are there. So all of these you can find in the channel name Dr. Harish Gar and the playlist name is the mathematics 2. So let's see uh, what is the firstly what is the convolution is there and why it's the importance. So if you consider this function then you can clearly see can you write this function as a product of the two functions? Yes you can do easily like of this. I can write this function as of this I call as this is my fs and this is my g of s. Now can you find the Laplace transformation Laplace inverse of this fs? All of you know that how you find the Laplace inverse of this? Yes that's a very simple that is nothing but my cos of a t. Can you find the Laplace inverse of g of s? Yes yes that's again true this is a 1 by a sin of a t. Now you know the Laplace inverse of the f of t, you know the Laplace inverse of the g of s, both are there. So now this is the product form. Can you say the Laplace inverse of the f into g is equal to the Laplace inverse of the f and the Laplace inverse of the g? No, this is not true. So once it is not true, then how you can find the Laplace inverse of the product term? Once we need the Laplace inverse of the product term, we will need this convolution theorem. What is the statement is that if you have the Laplace inverse of the first function called as the f of t, Laplace inverse of the second function called as the g of t, then we can find the Laplace inverse of their product is nothing but the integration from 0 to t, f of x, g of t minus x. You can always remember like this way, if you write like here, say g of u then how you can write that since the total is my t so i can write this as t minus of this one so either you can write either as a f or you can write as a g that is the same thing out here here this this term whatever this written is the integration is called as the convolution of f and g and it is denoted by f star g Again, it is clearly sees that it satisfies the properties like it is a commutative, distributive and the associativity are here. How you can prove that? That's a proof is very simple. What you can do is I can try to find the Laplace of this and if I try to find this is there then we can hold it. Now what is the definition of the Laplace function? All of you know that this is from 0 to infinity e raised power minus ht of f of t. You all know that if this is f t the same function here. So I can think on the Laplace here. This is e raised power minus st of here. Now since both are my here so you can integrate them over this one. I can write like here. So how you can solve this integration? So if you look about that if I say this is my x this is my t. So this is the limit corresponding to the t. t is my 0. What is that? This is t is 0. t is infinity r here. This is x is 0, this is my x is 0 and x is equal to t. So this is the line corresponding to x is equal to t. So which one is the common portion are there? So as x varies from 0 to t, so this is my common portion of that. That is a feasible area of the reason is my here. Now how you can change the integration? Can you change the order of the integration? That's a very simple. How you can change them? You can see first one is the x. Now I can take it with respect to the t. So for the t I can take the integration limits from here. What is the value of the t at this point? This is x. What is the value at here is infinity. So it is g in here. What is the limits of the x outside are there? This is from 0 to infinity r here. So limits are 0 to infinity x to infinity r. That is a horizontal strip. Again you can see I can write this part like of this can I write this part of this minus of the sx and minus of t minus x this is the same thing so first part the first integration is with respect to the x this is the limit of the x this is the limit of the t r there now what is that I can consider t minus x as a u then d of t is du so the limit are my this limit is my 0 you can see 0 it's the infinity r there and this integration is there 
डू यू रिमेंबर दैट विच पार्ट इज रिप्रेजेंट वेन एवर दिस लिमिट फ्रॉम जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी ई रेस टू पावर हेयर वट इज दैट दिस इज द लैपलेस ऑफ जी ऑफ यू दिस इज नथिंग बट द लैपलेस ऑफ द जी ऑफ यू और इन जर्नल यू कैन से दिस दिस इज द डी यू डी टी इज नथिंग बट द डी यू और यू कैन से लैपलेस ऑफ सो वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द लैपलेस ऑफ दिस इज नथिंग बट द जी ऑफ एस नाउ Uh, this part is a this is nothing but my g of s so that's a constant with respect to x so it can be taken outside this is can be taken outside what is the remaining side is there again what is that this is nothing but the laplace of the f as the definition what is the laplace of the f are there this is nothing but my f of s and g of s so what is that this is the laplace of this function is nothing but my here what is the meaning of this what is the laplace inverse of the capital f of g is nothing but my here so that's the simple proof of this simple results are how you can solve that we will see discuss the three examples are there let's see of this you have to solve this problem with the help of the convolution theorems again what is the rule is that you have to think all these problems as the product of the two functions look at that if you consider the first term can you write this part as of this this is the product of the two parts and you know the laplace inverse of the laplace here once you are here you can consider the first function as a f of t you can consider this as g of t you can also consider this as a g of t or this as a f of t that's depending upon your choice so i consider this as f of t and this is g of t then we apply the convolution theorem here so what is the f of x so this is 0 to if this is my f of t what is the f of x this is cos of ax what is a g of t if i call this as a g of t then what is a g of t minus x that is sin of a t minus x r now can you solve it easily you can all know that you can multiply the two and divide it by two and apply this formula two cos a sin b is here so what is that this is nothing but here now this is the integration with respect to x so this part is my constant so what is the integration of this sin is my sin of a t is constant so this is from here what is the integration of this it is my cos a 2x minus divided by 2a from 0 to t r so what is the answer of this is nothing but my this is there now you can substitute the values upper and lower you will get this answer so this two are cancel out so what is the answer of this portion is that this is my t sin t of this is the right answer look at the another one is there again you have to think about that two product of the two functions you can easily see that it is here can you find the laplace inverse of this this is nothing but the e raised to power 2t can you find the laplace inverse of this this is e raised to power minus of 3t so you can consider this as f of t you can consider this as g of t then apply the convolution theorem here what is the f of x if this is here then what is the f of x is nothing but my e raised to power 2x and here since this is the integration with respect to x so i can take e raised to power 3t as a common what is the remaining side this is 3 and this is 2 that is my e raised to power 5x so can you solve the integration of this that is the required answer of this problem look at the one more example sir there can you solve can you find the uh, product of the two functions sir here you can easily write this is 1 by s and this is s plus 4 so can you find the laplace inverse of the 1 by s that is fun can you find the laplace inverse of this you can easily find that i can take as minus of 40 by the laplace you know how i can write this yes this is by using shifting first theorem so once you are using now can you find this expression what is the laplace of gamma function of the n plus 1 upon s raised to power n plus 1 all of you know that this is nothing but t raised to power n so i can write this as i can multiply and divide it by what is the power is half i can multiply and divide gamma function of half then it becomes here what is the value of the t so this is s raised to power half i can write this as minus 1 plus half so n is my minus of half so i can write what is the gamma function of the half is my root of pi so root pi and this is my here now you know both so i can consider this as f of t this as my g of t or you can consider this as 
uh, one is a f and now you can see this is a g of t minus x so what i can do is i can consider this as of the g of t so that g of t minus x is remain the same and consider this as f of t or you can consider this as f or this as a g now if we substitute the value here you will get this expression because this of the f are there now this is the integration with respect to how you can solve them you can simply take 4 of x is say my u square because this is the integration of this you will get dx here but this is root pi when x is 0 u is 0 when x is then u is my of here you can substitute this value this is u square what is the root of the x are there this is u by 2 this is of here now you can solve them this is a cancel out u will be cancel out what is that this is nothing but my here now do you remember that if i say 0 to a e raised to power minus of x square of dx do you remember that what is the integration of this this is nothing but my error function of the a root pi divided by 2 so here a is my this so error function of this root pi will be cancel out so that is the required answer of this problem so this is the way you can solve the convolution theorems are there you can find some other videos related with laplace inverse laplace are here all on the channel name dr harishkar till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos best of luck students happy learning